Hey everyone, so today I'm going to be cleaning out my hamster's enclosure and turning it into a Halloween theme. So I'm very excited about this. I've been holding back from doing this since like August. I made myself wait till October because I mean... But today I'm finally going to be decorating it. But of course first we have to clean it up so I'm going to start doing that now. Alright, so this is my hamster's enclosure right now. He does already have some Halloween stickers on here, but those are the only Halloween decorations he has currently. So this is what it looks like. And his nest is down here. That's where he's sleeping right now. So I got these gloves. And I got some trash bags. I wish I had um, a dustpan to scoop a bunch of bedding out at once, but I don't have that, unfortunately. So we're just gonna have to work with these gloves. I have to get a step stool because my because the enclosure is so high up I can't like reach all the way in there so I will have to clean out his wheel but I'm not gonna do that right now but it's like disgusting because he goes to the bathroom this all the time sand bath which I will also need to clean out so I'm just going to take everything out of it there's all these rocks He has a little tunnel under his bedding right here, so I'm just gonna pull that out, which he's not gonna be happy about because he loves this tunnel and he probably has like food stored in there and stuff, but he'll be fine. All right, so I think I cleared everything out of here. So now I'm going to put all the bedding that I'm gonna save, that's like not soiled and stuff, just in this small little Target bag. I'm gonna start getting the bedding out from this side.
everyone. Um, so when I was cleaning out his enclosure, I couldn't find him. Turns out he escaped. So um, I kind of turned my whole room inside out looking for him. He was on the stairs. He was at the bottom of the stairs. He was blending in. Um, <clears throat> he's back. He's back, okay. So before I finish with the rest of his Halloween enclosure, I just put a little embedding in here so he can relax in here for a little bit before I take him out to finish his enclosure because I know he's probably stressed. <sighs> this is what he did to my room. I'm mad at him, but I'm very happy he's safe. All right, so a little clarification about what happened. I guess I left the lid cracked open um, the night before when I fed him and um, he escaped overnight. This is the first time it's happened, and of course it happened when I was filming a video. Um, yeah. <laughs> and I had to tear my entire room apart looking for him. I couldn't find him. I was freaking out. I was so scared. Turns out he was just asleep on my stairs behind my, ha my hamper. Um, I'm really glad he didn't go further than that. I was really scared. So, yeah, that's what happened. My room is all put together now. It's all clean. But, yeah, so, there's the clarification. Back to the video. Okay, now that I got my hamster back in his enclosure, he's in his wheel right now, but you can't really see him because he's black, and his wheel is black. So, it's been almost three hours since I found him, so I just let him chill in here. I put a little bit of his bedding back in here, and I put his wheel in here, and his water, and his food. So... Now that he's kind of settled back in there for a little bit, I'm going to get him out again and then I'm going to clean out this bedding and I'm going to actually start working on the enclosure. All right, now that it's all sterilized, I'm going to start putting in this purple and green bedding. And I'm gonna put that on this side. I'm not quite sure what I'm gonna do with the shallow side yet. Um, I don't know which bedding I'm gonna put over there, but I'll figure that out later, I guess. So just to make the bedding deeper on this end, I think I'm going to do a layer of just his normal paper bedding down here. So the bottom layer is just going to be his normal paper bedding. And then I'm going to put this green and purple bedding on top of that, just because that one bag wasn't deep enough for him to like, it's just not deep enough for my liking. So I'm just going to do his normal bedding first.
Okay, I think after this, I'm gonna have it transition over to just some of his normal paper bedding, and then I'm going to have the end over here, just his aspen shavings, because he usually has aspen shavings over here anyway. And I wanna keep it kind of like his normal enclosure, just so it's something he's used to. Okay, so this is his bag of bedding from his old enclosure, so I'm just going to sprinkle some of it. And I'm also going to put some of it right over here because this is where his multi-chamber hide is going to go. So his old bedding is just going to be hidden under here. So... All right, so in this bowl, this bowl is gonna be like his little graveyard. So I'm going to put some of this eco bedding in here because it's dark brown. So it'll kind of look like soil. And then I think I'm gonna put a little bit of hay in there as well. So it looks like dirt and grass. All right, so I've got the eco bedding in here. I'm gonna put a little bit of hay in there as well. I'm just going to sit it somewhere random for now. It doesn't really matter where it's at. So I'm probably just going to keep his wheel where I normally put it, which is right up against this wall. And I have his popsicle stick platform, which I'm going to put underneath it. it's very important to keep hides in the sand bath so they feel like they have privacy when they're going to the bathroom and grooming themselves and all that. I like to put a couple rocks in his sand bath. I also like to keep this wooden platform underneath his water bottle so that none of the water drips on his bedding and gets like moldy or anything like that. I get to figure out where to put his Halloween decorations. So I have this gigantic pumpkin hide. I got it at Target for $10. So I need to figure out where to put this. Put it next to this water bottle right here. I also have this little cauldron here that I got from the Target dollar section for $3. I think I'm going to put this right here. I have another pumpkin hide. I got this at the Dollar General for $3. Um, I could possibly put this one up over here. Yeah, I could put this over here. right there okay 
And then I have this, which I got from the Dollar General too, I think. Yes, I did. And I only got it for a dollar. So this is made out of plastic, but my hamster, like, pretty much never chews on anything like he does not like to chew on things the only things he really chews on is are his um whimsy chews he never chews on wood like willow sticks or like any of his wood chews so i really don't think he's going to chew on this but i am going to keep an eye on him and if i see him start to chew on this i'm going to take it out because obviously it wouldn't be good if he chewed on it i really don't think he's going to chew on it but like I said, I'm going to keep an eye on him. So I'm going to kind of, so yes, this does, does have spiders on it and stuff. I think I'm gonna kind of bury it under his bedding kind of, or like, I don't know exactly what I'm gonna do. I also have this corn hide, which I got from Goodwill, and it was probably only like three or four dollars. Could just put this like right here. So it's kind of like up against the glass. For this month's hamster mail, they sent a little corn cob that's made out of willow. So I might just sit it up here, just stick it up from the bedding like that. I'm going to go ahead and get his multi-chamber hide set up over here. Okay, now I think I'm going to start putting his ghosts up in his little graveyard. So I'm going to try to prop these up with willow sticks. I'm going to stick this up here. I made this cute little graveyard with these toilet paper ghosts. A couple of them are outside and then two of them are inside the bowl. The last adjustments I'm going to make, I'm going to put some of his old bedding inside these pumpkin hides. I'm going to put his little ladder up here. Now I'm just going to add some of his wood in. I'm going to put a piece right here. Doesn't really matter where you place them. I have these little accent pieces. I'm just going to put them around his enclosure. I'm going to put some of these rocks around his sand bath just to make it look more natural and he really likes the rocks. He likes to walk on them. It helps him cool down when he gets hot and stuff like that. So if you don't have rocks in your hamster enclosure, I would um, consider putting them in there because they really are beneficial looks wise and so they can cool down and stuff. 
Oh, they can also use them to scratch their nails to wear them down because their nails are constantly growing as well as their teeth. All right, so for some finishing touches, I'm just going to sprinkle around some of his herbs as well as I got in last month's hamster mail. They sent me this mix of like parsley and hay and I can't remember everything that's in here but there's a few different herbs and like roots and stuff like that so I'm just going to sprinkle this around. And then I also have this jar of some homegrown herbs that are just dried so I'm going to sprinkle a few of these around as well. I'm also going to give him a, I think I'll give him an orange whimsy for Halloween. I could give him an, a green or an orange. I think I'm going to do an orange. Just one of these little crocodile whimsies. I'll put it in his spider web. Let's see if we can find that. And then lastly, I'm just going to give him one spray of millet. I'm going to get a few pieces of hay to stick up from the cauldron back here so it kind of looks like green smoke coming up from the cauldron. Okay, so I'm finally done with the enclosure. That didn't take as long as I thought it would. It did take a long time, but it didn't take as long as I thought it would, thankfully. So now I'm just going to give you an overview. Thank you.